Hello, this is Real Rider, and it's time for Mother <laughs> Vision Line. Today, we're going to review a Vision Line Niagara. One important thing I have to tell you is to always power your train up all the way. And in order to get the water scoop to work good, you yeah, need a good transformer. Underpowering your legacy engine is not good for the engine. I had learned that the hard way, and I had to get a new Vision Line Niagara because of that. So get a good transformer and power it up all the way. Minimum curve radius needed to operate this thing is 054. Now, I thought it was going to be 072 because of the centipede tender, but Lionel has gotten this to run on 054. Scale coupler in the front, if you want to double head this train, Lionel offers this O-gauge coupler in the box. You have to replace the coupler, and then you can double head it. And then the smoke box door on all Vision Line trains open up. Yeah, like that. And it's holds in with a magnet. Like all Vision Line steam engines, this engine comes with whistle steam smoke effect. Load the smoke fluid, just give the stack 20 drops of Lionel Premium, and that will take care of both the stack and the whistle. Like all Vision Line trains, the sand dome can be removed to access the switches that will turn off certain smoke units. We've got the run program switch, the main, the whistle, and the pop-off. And to load smoke fluid for the safety valves, you have to remove the safety valves, put the funnel that comes with it in it, and give it 10 to 20 drops. If you don't know what safety valves are, they start spraying and making a loud noise whenever the boiler has too much steam to warn the driver and fireman that they better lower the pressure or else this steam engine is going to explode. This is the most realistic smoke unit I have ever seen. I mean, it looks exactly like steam. Looks like there's real steam shooting out of those safety valves. It looks really cool. How long have those safety valves been spraying anyway? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I had to get a new Vision Line Niagara because of that. Yeah. I was planning on buying a Pennsylvania J1 and a Vision Line Challenger, but since my Niagara had exploded, I'm just going to get a Vision Line Challenger. Yeah. Man, I really should have listened to the warning of those safety valves. This engine does come with an air horn. In order to switch it from a whistle to a horn, you have to press AUX1 on the Legacy Remote. One problem with this horn is that every first time you use it, it's going to activate the whistle steering. There's a sensor to make it easier to connect the engine and tender to each other. Still very difficult to connect them together. To load smoke fluid for the water scoop, 
you're going to need a screwdriver and to stick it right there to remove the toolbox. You can see the hole where the smoke fluid should go in. And then you take this cone funnel and stick it in that hole and then give it between uh, 10 to 20 drops. And that water scoop looks really cool. Overall, it's a really good engine. It's very expensive, but it's totally worth it for all those amazing features. This is my very first Vision Line train, and it's one of the best trains on my layout. And I'm gonna get another Vision Line train, the Challenger. And that was Mother Vision Line. Next time on Mother Vision Line, we'll review the Challenger.